Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day because I'm having a great day. I just want to say thanks a million for we hit our first sort of milestone. It was 10 subscribers. Thank you very much. I'm going 12 right now, which is very nice. I'm not really judging it based on that. It's just if you guys drop the subscribe button, it means the world to me. And I want to thank you all for doing that. I was also thinking recently, what is the best possible team you can have currently in this game? So I decided to make it and see it. And you guys, by all means, give your input when you see it. Now I just want to say right away, looking at... Oh, look, we've got bronze. Look at it. Do bronze packs. Look at that. How much you sell. It's ridiculous. Now, I'll be going through it and I'll be going doing some sort of player analysis while I do it. But this is the best possible team you can make in this game. And it's a completely 197. You can see that. Let's see. Let me, let me just. I'll do this mid, mid thing for you guys, right? Watch this. So it's 197. Because I don't want to actually mess with you guys too much. And save. That should be fine. Perfect. There you go. 197. Prove of that. Look at this. Look at this team. Now, I've tried to use the best possible teams I can, best possible players I can play on this, but we make it 100 chem. But of course, I've got the I've got the bench here. It has all the other players that you could also pick. Obviously, for chem reasons, I've picked other ones. Like you could probably have Varane in there. It's nothing. Then the gear goes off chem. I'm trying to make everybody 10 chem. That's why I've also made the manager a Brazilian La Liga, because that works. Now, the only player that would be off chem would probably be. You would need to position change team of the year Modric and you would need to get loyalty on Ronaldo's 99. But let's start with let's go let's start with the, let's start with the, a defense first and goalie. Now the goalie, I would say even the base rate De Gea is good enough 91, but it's just team of the year. We're going to build the best team. Look at that. Even his speed's good and the the, the stats he would get is so good. It's just an end game card properly and because he, he's Six foot four, traditional. Now I remember last year he had that special save type. He could always go down and block their crossbody because that's not really a thing. You really just go for rating when it comes to goalies now, which is pretty good. Now right back, honestly, this is the best right back I could find. I want to just check to see if the um, yeah, the webcam's kind of hiding the strength. I'll move this up now. It was only just to show you the one nine, the one nine seven at the start of the video. I'll move it back up. Just take two seconds, guys. Hold with me, please. There you go. So there you go, so there's a Netties, there you go, his stats. The only bad thing about his card, remember there is a 93 version a CDM, but we're trying to build it for the best positions. Now, jumping is his only bad part really. You, you are not to bother about shooting for this card, that's a perfectly fine. Passing, short passing is class. You would really want to boost his pace, and I would say anchor or shadow. Anchor or shadow, look, that's your, that's your wheelhouse for this card. Just do that, it's perfectly fine. Now, Maldini, one of the best centre-backs in the game. I've picked him over all the other ones because A, he's an icon, he gets links, as well as I think he's got the best stats, even though I know for a fact he's 6 foot one, six foot one. That's his only drawback. He's no massive, but he's no tiny either. 6 foot one's doable. I, have, I do Bobby Moore and I do Baresi in my team, because that's my sort of level, my, my team. And the height isn't too bad, even though there is a heading meta in this game that does affect it. Now we're on to another attacker who I don't think is too tall either, but he's a 97. It's team of the year. Sergio Ramos. He's so good. Three star, three star. Wish it was better. High, medium, low, best work rates. Six foot. He's smaller than Maldini, but those stats. <laughs> those stats are incredible. What, what would you put on this card? Um, and, uh, You want to give him the full boost on pace, so it would have to be a Catalyst Hunter or... The shadow, but you wouldn't want to do shadow because it's just wasting the defending stats because they're already at 99 and 98 basically overall. I would, and you wouldn't want to do passing either, uh, catalyst either. But mad as it is, Hunter probably would do me, just make him balance as anything because Hunter, you would improve his attacking position, which is good for headers, you would improve his volleys, which may be good for any shots you get on, but you'd be awesome, honestly, you'd be awesome. Now we've got Marcelo next, team of the year also. Yeah, he's pretty much end game. Again, when it comes to Team of the Years, they're going to be so good anyway. They're, they're, they're amazing anyway. That's why they were Team of the Years. What card would you put on this? I don't know. Um, let's think. Anchor. Anchor. You want to give them the boost, don't you? And you really want to... Anchor would boost defending, physical, and pace, which are already 90s, but then it would boost them up to the 99s. I'd say Anchor. Anchor's the way you go with this card. What was his work rates anyway? Oh, work rates aren't really great for me. Left foot, I rate. I like left footed, left winger, left backs. Because of the curl and the cross. Very nice. Could you give a go? Could you go curl? What is curling? Curl is 99. Cross is no. Cross is 99. Oh, yeah, yeah. His cross is going to be the best in the game. Bad by all. I do just want to add in here that I do know that team of the season is on the corner. So maybe some of these players in this 
team will get upgraded to the team of the season version, maybe the right way. The right mid is the hard part for me because I've, I've really had to use either uh, Georgie Best or an icon right mid, and he's really the best one I could find currently. But I'm sure end of the season we might have a exciting right mid. I don't know, maybe a I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. I'm thinking to myself now. This card I've used in draft a lot. Team of the Year Modric. He won the Ballon d'Or, rightly or wrongly. I don't know. Messi. But anyway, I just got. I've got that cough. We call it the Messi cough. How is he only fifth in the world? I know. I'm, I'm blazing over the world. Uh, with the four star, four star is good. High star, high star good. Uh, high, high star, high star. High high work rates is good. And five eight. Uh, but he, I've used him in game. He's a speedy little demon. And those stats, perfect. Probably going to be one of the best cards in the game ever. Probably one of the best FIFA cards ever, based on just these stats. I know his work rates and his physicals and all that aren't any great in terms of his attributes. His player details aren't any great, but those stats. He's in the 90 gang, man. He's in the 90 gang. Holy Jesus. But hey, if he's won the Ballon d'Or, he deserves it in that sense. Now we're going up to Georgie Best. Yeah, he's a good icon. He was the best of the bunch. I couldn't really, to make the chemistry work, I couldn't put in a a Neymar or an Mbappe. I'm going to go to the bench in a second as well. It's just making sure I'm going for the first team first. But this card, 100%, this card is better than that card. It's just for chem reasons. And chemistry is so important in this game. It's important to have full chem. Now we're on to Neymar. I've used this card also in draft. It is god tier. Even though, don't be li don't feel this lied by that pay, that strength. Strength is alright. He feels okay in the game. He, he glides past players. He's very much feels like a moderate and all that. But he's actually got a bigger body. He's five nine and those five star five star and high medium is perfect. This guy's got the perfect stats except for that strength. So whatever you put on him, boost the physical. You boost the physical. Don't touch the defender. You, you won't use them as a defender. Bust the eh, bust. Boost the physical, and that's all you have to do on this card. Now we're into Pele, our man who <laughs> destroys all the farmers. I'm joking, I actually don't know if he's a fraud or not, there's all that thing, and he himself has said some controversial stuff recently about how he thinks he's better than Messi and probably Ronaldo, I don't know, I don't know if he spoke about Ronaldo, but, oh, mate, come on, you know, I, like, I know your icon, I know you've scored plenty of goals, but, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know about it, man, I don't know, he, he's been, a, he was a good player, and he probably, did, well, based on his record, if it's true or not, or if it's uh, kind of credible or not, yeah, he deserves these stats, and we're talking about the best team in FIFA, 99, you're not going to beat that. Now, yeah, everything's amazing about this card. Holy Jesus, it's amazing. Look at it. For a, for our attack and our first set cam, yeah, let's see what his full attack is. Four star. I'm annoyed he's not five star. Again, he's got the same thing as Modric. He's five foot eight. He's got perfect work rates. Five star skill moves. Yeah, you'll play like a god. You'll play like a god. Now we've got, I don't know which one I should go first. Let's go with R9, okay? R9. Five star, five star, six foot. Perfect. Medium, medium. Mm, not too sure about that. That's not the best for a striker. But anyway, we're, we're nitpicky here. We're nitpicking. Um, yeah, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> uh, you have to get moments where you just sit back and go, yeah, that's a good card. Now, his passing is quite low. You bump that up, so you maybe put on a... Don't have to touch his pace. So a passing and physical. If there's a stat card that does that pass and physical, then you're golden with this card. But of course, you're going to have to buy this card because EA didn't release the print. You'd have to do the 96, which is probably a little bit stepped down from this. But that's another video, and I'm sure it'll be linking at the end of the video. So click on that video if you want to look into why you have done that and what's my personal opinion on it. Now, we've got the man himself, Ronaldo. Yeah, his physical. He's, got, he's basically like R9, but he's got better physicals. And dribbling. But that balance, 76... Bit cheeky, bit cheeky for me. How can they give him an 88 dribbling but then have a 76 stat on it? I don't know. How tall is he? Is he 6 1 or 6 2? 6 2. Yes, I love him. Four stars, a bit of a shame. High, low, perfect work rates. He's got the perfect height, perfect work rates, perfect stats. The only bad thing is he's not 5 star. That's it. But that's the main team in terms of that's what I'll be playing out with. And with this manager and with Modric as CDM, you would get full chem. And obviously some loyalty on Ronaldo, and then you would get full chem. Now, players that didn't make the cut but also can, you can argue for. Like, 100%, Mbappe. If Mbappe was in La Liga or if he was, if he was Brazilian, <laughs> or if he was, I don't know, I don't know. His car is better than Best's, it's just for the chem. And he's 4-star, 5-star, but annoyed that he's not 5-star, five 5-star, five but he's high medium, perfect. 5'10", he's tall enough. Right foot, I rate that on the right wing. Uh, pace, <laughs> pace you really don't need to touch, it's maxed out. Shooting, probably don't need to touch. Passing, I would touch. Passing physical again, man. Passing physical. Just give them the boost. 
But that card is so endgame, it's unbelievable. But it's team of the year, that's why. Varane team of the year now. You could argue probably for Varane over um, Ramos. It's only one rating down. But we're going for the highest rated. So that's why we're at 197. But Varane, yeah, he's good. Six foot three, he's taller. He's got better work rates. And he's got the same weak foot, which I rate. Now, his card's nowhere near as good as passing. Well, to be fair, the passing stats of his passing is 99-99, which is perfect. It's just he doesn't have the shooting. He's got better pace. Better... Not as good defending, I want to say. Let's just compare these two. Yeah, Ramos kills him and everything, to be fair, apart from pace. Yeah, yeah. How is he against uh, Maldini? Maldini gets beat by everything except for one stat in defending, so there you go. It'd probably be better if I could have... See if De Gea was French or Varane was Spanish. We could have him instead of Maldini, but I'm afraid just for Ken, we can't do that. Now, of course, the other team of the year that I've put out of my team just because of chem reasons, but he would 100% be in there based on that. If I could get him instead of R9, I would. It's this Messi, cat, I mean, Messi center forward. Yeah, that is just end gear. The only issue with Messi is, of course, is his height. Five foot seven. In my opinion, his foot, left foot, isn't great for me, and he's four star, four star. He's actually had a bit of a downgrade from last year, in my opinion, in terms of what these attributes are. Because he used to be, was a four star, five star? Why is he not giving him five star? He's got skills. I've seen Messi. I watched him destroy Man United. He didn't destroy Man United, but he was playing against Man United. Chris Small destroyed him. Holy Jesus, that cut, man. They've messed with him. And medium, medium rubbish, man. They're quite clearly favouring Ronaldo, man. They have him on the box, man. Him and Neymar are on the box for some reason. Probably because Barcelona probably went over to Pez, the Pro Evolution game, right? We don't see that word. That's like the Voldemort word of this universe in a FIFA video. <laughs> you don't see Pez. But Canty's another one. He's good. He's probably too... Funny enough, I'm saying 96 rated. He's probably too low rated for the squad because we've got Modric going to be in the uh, CDM role. Now, I don't know how defensive Modric is, to be fair. Let's have a look. No, usable. You can do that. Look, his stand tackle's 99, slide tackle's 99. Yeah, he's the, he's, he's, he'll be perfect at this position. But Canty, of course, is the man. He just can't header for days. His passing's are great. I know his height is tiny, 5'6", but medium high, right foot. His weak foot isn't he great, but he's, he's an option. If you're doing a Premier League side, he has to be in it. Now, Ronaldinho instead of Neymar is another option. And he actually would get full chem. Like that, see? And he'd give full chem to everybody except... Yeah, that's like the complete team if you, you want Link, say. But, of course, you compare him to Neymar's card. Neymar destroys him. Like, utterly beats him. It's unbelievable how much Neymar destroys him in terms of his stats. So that's why we've got Neymar in there. And with the manager, we'll get them all into 10 chem. Now, Ronaldinho was card though, however, and of course this is another one of the controversial ones. EA have not released the Prime version as an SPC, so you can't even grind for it, even if it was expensive. Apparently they've done it because they think that we as a community didn't want an expensive SPC, because we would complain it's too expensive. No, we want the best card the best version, like you said you were going to release the best cards the best versions. Watch that other video though, I'll link it at the end of this one, that just talk about why they've done it and it just you still can get an 84 if you grind it okay because you're not gonna back lock or buy it it's gonna cost a arm and a leg this card but this card is really good there's nothing if i was gonna upgrade anything again physical upgrade that physical and passing again passing physical those are my babes if i want to do that but then of course it matters if you're going to be playing this card as a left wing or a left forward or um outside left wing whatever you need to do you can use it now another attacking instead of ronaldo any of the Ronaldos. Johan Cruyff, he's very good. Like those stats are in game. That dribbling. Oh my god. And he, he's got 99 dribbling when Ronaldo had 99 dribbling. But look at his balance as well. It's 95. And how tall is Johan Cruyff? He's 5'11. And he's better. He, look at that. 5 star, 5 star, high low. That is the ideal stats for a striker. You can't beat that. 5 star, 5 star, high low. If he was 6 foot 2, it'd be better. But then EA would give him 75 balance. Now, his stamina for an end game card, and we're talking about the pinnacle of the pinnacle. We're top of Everest here. We're actually above Everest. We're in space right now. Strength is low, stamina is low. So, again, physical, and I would even. Physical and shooting, if that's an option. I don't know if that. I'm trying to think if there is a chem style that just does those two. No, actually, no. No, Hawk. You would do pace, shooting, physical. Easy peasy. Japanesey. Now, instead of De Gea, if you just want icon links. He ashens your man, because he's the only bad thing he's six foot two, and I used him in a draft and he was tragic. Other icon goalies are available at other stores, of course. You can do that. It's perfectly fine. Uh, another centre mid, if, uh, centre, 
centre back if you're doing a Premier League side, of course you're using the canties of the world and all that. Is a Van Dyke. Now I've got his 91 rated Champions League card. It's hopefully going to get upgraded to 92 in the next game because they beat Porto quite convincingly 2 0. This card, it's, got, it's getting closer to this card, the card I've got, and I must admit, he's already playing like a beast for me. And look at those stats, man. They're really good. Now, of course, you would put. Wouldn't touch passing. I noticed there's never a chem style that just does pace and dribbling, which makes me think those are the two important stats they never want you just to max out. So it's like, ah, it's annoying, because you wouldn't want to touch... Anchor, anchor. Or maybe, maybe Catalyst, just because you are going to bump up his vision and his curve. Because defending and physical, you don't need to touch, man. Anchor, maybe, anchor, maybe, but his strength's fine, his aggression fine, I don't know. You, it's, this card's so good, it's hard to find a chem style for him, which is fair enough. Most of these cards are so good, you can't find a chem style for them. Now, Terry Henry, I think he's a bit misleading too. He's very Ronaldo-esque, he's... He's a he's someone got he's got really good stats for a striker, but then he has that low balance. Whereas I like his stamina, I like his strength, so his physicals is actually okay with me. Uh, his heading and jumping is really low. Did Terry on you not score many headers? I don't know. I'm just making sure if that's the case. It might be the case. But look at his stats, very nice. His long passing is disappointing too. Now of course we're just talking about the pinnacle, the pinnacle. Really passing probably long, especially long passing probably doesn't matter for strikers. But then you can knock this guy down to CDM or, <laughs> if you want, CDM, or attacking mid or centre forward. And you might need a bit more passing then. But no. And I'm pretty sure 6 foot 2 is perfect. Medium, medium. Don't like. And 4 star, 4 star. Again, we're talking about the pinnacle, pinnacle. Don't like. I wish it was 5 star, 5 star. But 4 star, 4 star, I admit it's fully workable. Just wish one of them was 5 star. Either skill moves or weak foot. No, we got into the next biggie dogs. These two are just the icons now, of course, even beyond these, but I'm not saying these are the best players in the game. Well, they are, but there are more available. <laughs> I completely understand that. Now, his stats, yeah, god tier, amazing. I get why people would have wanted this card over the prime version, that's uh, the, the non-prime version, maxed out one that's available, because it is actually a massive upgrade just for the one point up, because the 93 version, when you compare it to this one, is night and day, man. Now, his physicals, you don't need to touch. Defending, you might want to touch if you're going to use him as a sort of defensive outside cam or outside centre mid. I wouldn't use this card as an outright striker. As a cam, he'd be good. As an out outside, either outside is good because he has good work rates. But those, those are perfect, man. You do what you need to do. You can keep it on basic if you want, but I'd probably want to boost that pace a little bit. Now, five stars is amazing. Four stars is amazing. Because as long as one of them is five star, I'm happy with it. High medium, perfect. It kind of takes away from the point that you don't want to use him as a centre or a defensive mid. You don't want to use him as a defensive player. Rude Hollett, because of those high medium. And he's right footed, perfect. Six foot three, he's massive. I know he is one of those bodies in games that's just amazing. He's a mop running around, cleaning up everything up. He mops everything up with his hair and his play. Now, you stay be all. He's 5'9, so he's not the small, biggest, but he's not the smallest either. Five star, four star, perfect. High medium, perfect. Those stats are amazing. Strength's a bit low, so I want to boost that. Yeah, strength and passing for me. Again, strength and passing. They've maxed out. <sighs> yeah, strength and passing. I went all, had a ball out to there for a second. But yeah, that's the team though. And if, of course, if money was no option or if cards came so easy, have this team. I had it 197. It's good. And by all means, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thanks for the support. Honestly, it means the world to me. You guys are dropping likes, dropping the subscribe button, comments. I promise you, I'll write, I'll respond to every comment that you write, or I'll, 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 I haven't not responded to a comment yet. Just drop a subscribe, drop a like. A magical thing will happen if you write a comment, even if it's anything you want. Just tell me something interesting, and I will. Thank you, Will. Just go, that's interesting. I understand you can change formations, you can change everything to get different players into different slots. It's just, this is the best one I could find. A 197. Can anyone beat a 197? That's my question. That's my challenge to you guys. And write down what the solution would be if it was, okay? The main thing is, have a good day. And thanks for the support. It means a lot. And I hope you enjoy, alright? I'll see you guys. I'm still here, though. Cause I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Anything else I need to add? Again, there's more players you can pick. But these are the dogs. These are the main dogs I could find. And I hope you enjoyed the, the last few videos I've been making. I really enjoyed it. But the main thing is, have a good day, alright? See you guys.